and welcome to the Ocean Photographer of the Year 2022. This year we are in Western Australia, a place that boasts one of the most dramatic and unspoiled coastlines on planet Earth. With over 13 and a half thousand kilometres of it to choose from, where better to celebrate the beauty and complexity of our ocean? With me this week is Nane Steinhoff, editor of Oceanographic magazine. Nane, it's so brilliant having you here with us in Western Australia. What can we expect from this week? Yeah, we're very excited to be here. And like last year, we had so many thousands of entries. They're all amazing. From what I've seen so far, all images show the ocean's power, the many perils it faces, the many conservation issues we're facing or the ocean is facing. And some of them make you feel like you need to change something, which I don't think it was easy for the judges to pick the winners, but they had they, to. They had to. <laughs> <laughs> tough job, tough job. Now, over the course of the last few months, you've been entering your ocean images, as Nani's just said, by their thousands. Images that inspire, that shock, that will get the world focused on and talking about the ocean, which is what these awards are really all about. And over the course of the next week, we'll be announcing the winners of 10 awards. First up, two brand new categories, Ocean Wildlife Photographer of the Year and Ocean Fine Art Photographer of the Year. Then, in a change to previous years, we'll look at two Ocean Conservation Photographer of the Year awards, one for hope, the other for impact. We've got the Ocean Adventure Photographer of the Year, the Ocean Portfolio, and Young Ocean Photographer of the Year Awards, followed by another brand new category, the Human Connection Award, People and Planet Ocean. To round off Winners Week, we finish with the Female 50 Fathoms Award and the grand prize, the Ocean Photographer of the Year 2022. All this year's films, of course, will be released at 6pm UK time every day for the next week. And this year's submissions have once again been looked over by some of the world's leading ocean and wildlife photographers. Paul Nicklin, Christina Mittermeier, David Dubelay, Sean Heinrich and Andy Mann all being part of that esteemed panel. And also part of this year's panel is, of course, Sadie Quarrier, Deputy Director of Photography at National Geographic. So let's get to it. As mentioned, we're kicking things off this year with a brand new category, the Ocean Wildlife Photographer of the Year. So Nane, this is a brand new category, really exciting. Tell us what the judges are looking for. Yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Um, I think last year we had lots of categories that were centered around humans and yeah. you know the interactions between human and species. And this one is all about looking at the species at the ecosystem uh, the judges are looking for images that are full of color and really bring the magic of the ocean to life and convey that feeling of the one individual yeah i'm really excited to have a wildlife category it means that i guess you can you can flex your muscles as a photographer to capture anything from whales to crustaceans so super exciting let's jump in to the runners up in third place is Juan Gonzalez with an image of a Caribbean manta. No, no, this is a beautiful image reflecting that manta onto that, that surface. So tell us more about what the judges said. I think manta rays are so curious and intelligent animals and you can really feel and see that in that image. You can see the playful nature, it's looking directly at the photographer yeah. and they're known to interact with humans and you can see that in that image. We've got the reflection on top um, and that beautiful symmetry which is really rare. One of our judges, Christina Mittermeier, said the photographer had to be there at the right time because the strobes are placed perfectly as well. You can imagine what it would be like for Juan in this environment to have that manta coming towards them. And, you know, they speak about that interaction and swimming with them, absolutely fabulous. So, yeah, well-deserved winner for third place. In second place is Martin Rowan with a blue crab feeding in a cave surrounded by mangroves. I love this, this really stood out. There's something about the light, the silhouette, so much going on. What did the judges say? Yeah, so you've got this blue crab in its hole, fishing with its claws in the current. It really, the entire scene looks really mysterious. You know, the crab looks huge because of the creative choices made by the photographer. You know, it tells the story of the crab and the judges really loved this one. Uh, Andy Mann said, you know, the photographer just nailed it. The body position, the angle, the negative space and the environment. Yeah, really opportunistic. And of course, we know of Martin uh, as well um, from previous years and his work varies so much, but this is a beautiful capture. But of course, we need a winner. And the winner of the Ocean Wildlife Photographer 2022 is... 
Rafael Fernandez Caballero with this fantastic image of pilot whales. Uh, now, Nane, I've been in the water with pilot whales myself. Never have I seen something like this before. It really captures wildlife, you know, socialising marine mammals that we see so much in photography, but it does it so well, doesn't it? Yeah, you can really see the family bond of this intelligent species. Um, I think the photographer here really captured a unique interaction, a bit of playtime maybe. You know, you can see the individuals just looking directly at the photographer, having that beautiful interaction. David Dubilé pointed out, uh, the guy in the middle is looking at us. I'm crazy about this picture. <laughs> yeah, that strong bond between those pilot whales. It's a huge congratulations to you. We actually caught up with Raphael to tell us more about this winning image. My father was an underwater photographer. He gave me uh, his camera. And as soon as I was old enough, I got my diving license. And he taught me everything I know. And he was my teacher and my master. And since then, I've been diving with him, uh, going around the world, seeing amazing places. And I think that I have been really lucky to share this beautiful uh, sport, which is underwater photography with him. Since I started, I, I have been in love with uh, pilot whales and since then till now I have been photographing the, the populations of whales around the area of the Strait of Gibraltar, which is the connection between the Atlantic Sea and, and the Mediterranean Sea. With pilot whales and with most of these whale species, the best way to get these images is free diving rather than diving with scuba gear. There were uh, a lot of pots together like a family meeting. In total, they might be around 300 or 400 pilot whales. And they were really playful. They were just uh, showing us how they were dancing. They were really interactive. Honestly, I had that image on my mind since maybe two years ago. It wasn't easy because the visibility is not really good most of the time. Also, you have to wait for the right sea, sea conditions, but that day, after maybe a couple of hours, we got uh, this, this image and it was very meaningful and powerful for me. My main aim is to tell uh, wildlife stories through my images to create awareness in order to, to protect the oceans. And I have been lucky to, to, to experience all these moments and show to the rest of the world how amazing wild animals and how animals uh, can be because they are truly impressive. So there we have it, our very first winner of this week. So congratulations to Rafael Fernandez Caballero for 2022's Ocean Wildlife Photographer of the Year. Do remember you can go back and watch any of the finalists and awards on the Oceanographic website or on the Ocean Photographer IGTV. Tune in tomorrow at the same time we'll be streaming a brand new award, the Fine Art Ocean Photographer of the Year 2022. We'll see you then.